Shavua Tov, a Gutevoch. I would like to tell story number 142 of the Shibche of Al Shem Tov, the oldest source of Baal Shem Tov stories ever published. The title of the story is Hamazik Sheit Bayesh Mipnei Habal Shem Tov. The Mazik that was ashamed in front of the Baal Shem Tov. As I have explained in previous weeks, a mazik is this dark spiritual bin that appears out of wrongdoings and hunts people, harms people, makes people afraid. Says the, the author of the Ship Hebel Shem Tov, this story happened in the community of Chutnov where there was an impure house. What does an impure house mean? As I explained before, a uh, hunted house. And the Balabais, the owner of the house, asked the Baal Shem Tov to come see the house. The Mochiach, the Mochiach of Olnoi, also asked to come with him, with the Baal Shem Tov. And the Baal Shem Tov saw a mazik standing in the house. But the Mochiach did not see it. So he asked, the Mochiach asked, and the Baal Shem Tov told him, yes, he's indeed there. The Mochiach asked the Baal Shem Tov to be allowed to see it. And the Baal Shem Tov replied, but you are going to be afraid. The Mochiach said, I am not afraid. So the Baal Shem Tov instructed him to close his eyes and open his eyes several times and then when he did this he saw the mazik standing up he was in a corner of the house his face toward the wall his looks his appearance was dark like in a dark cloud in deep darkness he asked why is the mazik facing away from them the Baal Shem Tov told him that the Mazik feels a shame in front of him. After this, the Mochiach be began to feel fear. And the Baal Shem Tov told him, close your eyes and open your eyes several times and you won't see it anymore. So he did, and he did not see the Mazik anymore. Then the Baal Abais, the owner of the house, asked the Baal Shem Tov, to expel it, to kick it, to kick this mazik away. But the Baal Shem Tov did not want to. Why not? As we say in Yiddish, for Mises and Kashes, we don't ask questions or a story. So I don't really know why. I could speculate, and it's my personal opinion, I, I could be wrong that once the mazik feels ashamed, he's subdued, it's no longer dangerous. That's my take on it. I don't really know. As always, I dedicate the stories of the Ship Hebel Shem Tov that I'm telling here on the channel to the safety and the safekeeping of all the Jewish people. Hashem should bless and keep all the Jews safe, especially those in Eretz Israel in these days of challenge and trials, and especially those serving the country to protect and, and those who are captured in enemy's, enemy hands may all come back home safely. And most importantly, may Jewish land return to Jewish hands safely. Blessings to everyone. I am translating the stories of the ship Hel Shem Tov one by one and telling them here in the channel every Motzei Shabbos, every Saturday when Shabbat is over, um, once in English, once in Spanish, I'm, uh, and I am also working on the translation from the original Hebrew to Spanish of the entire book with the hopes to edit and publish the Shibche Abel Shento for the first time in Spanish. Contributions for my efforts to do this and toward the publication of the book, please see links below. May everyone has a may, may everyone have an easy fast. May we not need to fast at all and join the redemption with Mashiach this very week. Shavua Tov, a good day,